guys, welcome back. My name is Lari. Today I'm going to be sharing another collection with you guys today and I'm really, really happy about this one. This is the Morgan Taylor Shake Up the Magic collection for winter 2020. Uh, Morgan Taylor sent me this as a gift and I'm super, super excited because I really, really have been loving what Morgan Taylor has been coming out with lately. I just love them. I almost said obsessed. Like you will never hear me say that word. I just, I just don't like it. It's overused and it drives me crazy, but that did pop into my mind, but I didn't say it. <laughs> So anyway, I'm weird like that, but I don't like that word, but I really do love this one so much. So I think that you guys are really going to like it too. So these polishes are available now at Beyond Polish. For a discount, you can use my discount code. It's GoPolish10 at checkout, and that will give you just a little bit of a discount at a place that already sells them for a pretty good price. I will also put a link down below to that so that you guys can check that out easily. I do have to say that the formula on these creams is maybe just slightly runny, not too bad. Uh, not enough to be annoying, but enough to really pay attention and be careful when, when you're going near your cuticle area because you don't want to flood that cuticle area and it does have a tendency to do that. So you have to be a little bit careful with these. But I do also have to say that I like formulas that are a little bit on the thin side for polishes because I feel like they last a little bit longer on the nail. I don't know. Could just be making that up, but I found that if the polish is really thick and you're doing a thick layer, it has a tendency to like peel off your nail. So anyway, that's just my observation. Okay, so let's talk about the polishes. I'm going to start with the creams first because those are my favorite. And I usually go from lightest to darkest. This one here is Bare and Toasty and it's a beautiful, soft, toasty beige. I really like the name that they chose for this one. And I'm really, really digging these beige polishes. And I especially like to wear them in the winter time when I'm really tired of wearing all the glitter and bright holiday colors. It's just nice to clean the palette and have something just nice and neutral to wear. So I will be wearing this one come January. I did find it closest to Saint Tropez and you will see that in the comparisons here. I did find that Saint Tropez was a little bit more on the dingy brown side than this one is. This one's just a little bit lighter and brighter. The formula is really great. It's going to be opaque in two easy coats. I was really digging this one. And let's get into those comparisons. This one is Chillin' with Jack, and this is such a beautiful polish. It's hard for me to describe it. It's like a gray polish with a hint of lavender. So it's a little bit taupey, but it leans a little more lavender. It's a little bit different than all the polishes that I have, and I'll talk about that in a second. But the formula is really fantastic. This is gonna build up really nicely in two coats as well, and you can see that here. And I just really enjoyed the color tone of this one. I did find it a little bit different. So I compared it to Topless Beach, and that is from OPI, and that one is maybe a little bit more brown, but I think that was the one that it was closest to. You'll have to check my picture. I also compared it to Master Plan. That one has a little bit more brown in it. So this one does have quite a bit of lavender, but I also compared it to Audio Bad Nails by OPI because I wanted you to see that it is still kind of gray taupe instead of just straight up lavender. So it looks pretty lavender here that you can see. This is pretty true to color. It's interesting when you put it up against other polishes to see the true color. It's going to be hard for me to pick favorite in this collection and let's get into those comparisons. This next one is a little bit close to the last one that I talked about and so I wanted to put them up together so you guys could see and this one is called It's a Wonderful Life. So I really like this one too. I did compare it to the same polishes because they are a little bit similar and it was hard for me, I don't know, comparisons were a little hard on this one, uh, but I did compare it to the same ones and it's it's like a really lighter version of Merino Cool, which I really like because I feel like these polishes all go together and I'll talk about this next one next, but look how beautiful those are just all in a row. So they're like darker tones of each one and I really enjoy this one. It builds up beautifully in two coats. Again, it's got that same consistent formula, but it's a beautiful mauve color. It leans a little bit more purple as you can see this this is like more of a true mauve and this is more of a purple mauve and so that's what I like about it. It's a little bit different. Topo Speech is in between both of these if you can see that here. So that's why I did comparisons for the same thing for this one just so you guys could see. I think you guys will really like this one too and let's get into those comparisons.
Then we have B My Sugar Plum, and I love this one. It's a little bit deeper of a plum mauve color, and it leans a little bit more purple, as you can see here, compared to my shirt. It's so good. The formula on this one is fantastic. You're gonna get it opaque in one to two coats. I always do two, though. It's deep, and it's dusty, and it's just beautiful. So I immediately thought of Merino Cool by Essie. I'm gonna show that to you here, and I'll have that in the comparisons. Also, but it's a little bit darker and richer, and just to show you, this one, this is like in between these, so really fun. I think this one's quite unique. I think this one has, it's a little bit deeper and it has a touch more red in it. And then I really wanted to compare it to OPI Scores a Goal because that's one of my favorite polishes too. And I was surprised to see how much red that one actually had in it. It's quite a bit more rich than this one and it doesn't have as much dustiness to it. As you can tell, I really love this one too. I just think they're great winter polishes and I think it's nice. There's a few holiday ones in here, but then there's also some that are appropriate for winter after the holidays, which I really love. And let's get into to the comparisons for this one. Next we have Midnight Sleigh Ride. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's this beautiful blurple color. So it's like a purple with a little bit of blue. It's rich and deep and nice and beautiful. The formula is really fantastic. It's going to be opaque in one to two coats. Formula is just so good on this one. And these polishes are definitely, definitely my jam. I love them so much. Shades that are a little bit dusty. I know you're thinking it's close to OPI Less is Norse, and it is. It's pretty close to that one. I do have to say, you're gonna see in the picture that you think, oh, they're pretty much dupes, but they're not. This one's a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit more purple. And I hate to say it, but I do think I like the formula on this one a little bit better. So I like the brush better, that's for sure. I really like the Morgan Taylor brush, it's very nice. I really enjoyed this one. So, so good, you guys. This whole collection is so good. So let's get into the comparisons. This one is Fa La Love, that color, and it's a deep gray. This is probably the deepest gray that I have in my collection. It's got a fantastic formula. It's gonna be opaque in one to two coats. Probably one, I think you can definitely get away with one. It's actually what I'm wearing on my nails today. I love these darker ones. I seem to always have like a dark gray in my winter favorites. I don't know if I'm doing winter favorites this year. I've got too much going on, but if I did, this would definitely be in it. I might try to squeeze it in, we'll see. This one almost has like a touch of blue in it, so I compared it to Power clutch which has a little bit of a green with the gray uh, compared to Essie on mute that one was more gray this one had a touch of blue so they were a little bit different and this one was a little bit darker as well so let's get into those comparisons Now we have this beautiful shade of red called Stilettos in the Snow. These are my favorite kind of reds to wear, the bright, fun holiday reds. This has a fantastic formula. It's gonna be opaque in one coat. It's just a perfect red. I did not do comparisons for this. I get tired of doing comparisons for red because they're quite a bit the same, so um, no comparisons. It's just a bright cherry red, and I think it's really beautiful and might be nice to add to your collection if you don't have any reds. I did notice that it uh, had the potential to maybe stain the nails just because it stained my skin a little bit when I was taking it off. So just be careful. Make sure you're always wearing a base coat and then when you're taking it off just go straight off with that cotton wipe and try not to rub it all over and get into your skin. I just wanted to mention that to you guys. Then we have a center of attention and this is quite original. I didn't think it was when I first glanced at it. It's a brown kind of bronzy burgundy shade and then the shimmer underneath it is a little bit of a bronzy brown. So I did feel like that made it quite unique. I don't really have anything super super close to this in my collection. I know OPI has a lot of shimmery colors like this with a burgundy base. The shimmer in them's all a little bit different. It reminded me a lot of Black Cherry Chutney, which is one of my favorite polishes, but that one has more of like a berry fuchsia shimmer running underneath it. So I did no comparisons for this one, but I think you guys will really like this one too, and I really enjoyed it myself. These next two are really frosty glitter flaky shades that I really really loved, and they're kind of close. One's more silvery and one's more lavender. Let me start with this silver 
silver. This one's called Liquid Frost. Really enjoyed these. So this is a silver packed with silver glitter and then these beautiful flakies in here. It does really look like a snow flurry on your nails, which I thought was a really cool effect. And I don't have any polishes like this in my collection. I really liked how it went on. I think it builds up even more beautifully in two coats. So I would definitely recommend doing two coats for this. I just think it'd be so beautiful as an accent nail or to use in nail art because it builds up quite a bit. So I really enjoyed it and I think you will too. <laughs> then the next one is Don't Snowflake on Me and this is the one that leans a little bit more lavender but it does have that same kind of silvery glitter in there and then the silvery lavender flakies in there as well. So similar concept just a little bit different shade and I really liked the color tone of this one too. I just really am loving the cohesiveness of the color tones in this collection. I'm just very impressed and it's just really nice after all the glitter and shimmer that we've been seeing time and time again lately. Anyway this one's going to build up again in two coats just like the other one and I loved it. Okay these next two are the glitter toppers so you'll see them here they're going to come they're going to be a little bit separated. I'm going to show you in this close up here that you do have to really just shake this bottle to let these infuse into the polish base and the polish base is a little bit thinner and what I really like about that is that it's going to allow you to add the glitter without having that clumpy layer of polish in there that can sometimes happen when you're using a topper. Just get too much polish on there and not enough glitter. Get up after every two or three nails just to make sure you're getting a consistent amount of glitter on there. But hopefully that gives you a good view as I'm doing that close up so you guys can see that. So the first one here is the Shake Up and it's this beautiful silver glitter topper and it has different size glitters in there. So there's a little bit smaller silver ones and larger ones too. So this goes on pretty nicely. I believe I did this on top of the red. And it just built up nicely. I kind of like that light dusting. So I really liked this one quite a bit. And then the gold one is called California Gold. Same thing. It's got a little bit smaller pieces of gold glitter and a little bit bigger pieces of gold glitter in there. Apply this one over Midnight Sleigh Ride. And I really do enjoy purple and gold together. I think that's a really nice combination. And again, it just went on pretty nicely and easily. Just a little bit of glitter, which I kind of like. I either like a little bit of glitter on top if I'm doing a holiday mani or just like a full-on packed glitter with a shiny top coat. So that's my preference. So I really enjoyed this and I liked the different idea that they had behind them. And I love that shaking these up goes along with the collection Shake Up the Magic. Just a well thought out, beautiful collection. Okay, you guys, all of them are my favorite. I honestly cannot pick just two or three. Should I force myself to pick two or three? <sighs> okay, I'm going to do it. But really, I love them all. Like, I would buy this whole collection with my own money. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> They're all my favorite. I don't know if I've done that before. In 2016, 2015, I might have done that, but uh, this is the first time I've done that in a long time. Been able to say that the whole collection is my favorite, and so that just goes to show you how much I really love it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this collection. How did you feel about it? And are you going to pick any up? Please tell me. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.